Hi everyone, this is part 21, Applied Verbal Behavior, AVB Terms and Definition. So in this video, we will cover some terms related to Applied Verbal Behavior. These are Verbal Behavior and Verbal Operant. Then there will be some terms coming under Verbal Operant. Now what is Verbal Behavior? Definition, any behavior that is reinforced through mediation of another person's behavior. This does not only include the words you are saying, but these also include writing, gesturing, or any other communicative form. Example include a child asking for a cookie using words is an example of verbal behavior. And also if a child writes name of a something asking for it, this would also be verbal behavior because it does not only include the words you are saying or speaking but writing or gesturing also comes within it. Verbal operant A unit of verbal behavior that consists of a response or operant that is controlled by specific environmental stimuli. So any specific environmental stimuli is present or given and a response to that, a verbal behavioral response to that will be verbal operant. This includes mans, texts, intraverbals, echoic and autocritic. An example include ball in response to seeing a ball. So the environmental stimuli was seeing a ball. A ball was seen. So, the verbal response to that was ball. That was saying ball. Or even writing or gesturing toward it. Now, coming towards six types of verbal operant. These include echoic, meant, tact, intraverbal, autocritic, and listener behavior. Starting with echoic. As the word indicate, echoic, which means echo. So, a type of verbal behavior where a speaker repeats the behavior of another person. It is basically imitation of a verbal behavior, imitation of the stimuli presented. So, for example, someone says apple. So, the child also repeats it, or I say an, uh, a ball, the child also says ball. So, he is simply imitating me he is simply saying repeating me so it will be echoic behavior repeating or imitating mend mend refers to request mend refers to requesting something so it is a verbal behavior that is a request or demand where the speaker asks for something that is under their control or desire mends are reinforced by the specific item or action requested so basically these are also the request for uh, the reinforcement like if someone has a reinforcement of chocolate uh, he sh or she will ask for chocolate so if basically he or she is requesting for chocolate it will be a man behavior requesting for something would be a man behavior a child says can i have some juice to get juice tact tact is basically labeling or identifying something so, whenever uh, a child sees a picture of a dog, he will say dog or he will say anything. Like he might say, uh, he might repeat the voice of a dog. He might try to imitate the voice of a dog. This is reinforced by non-specific social reinforcement like acknowledgement or praise. So, for example, you give a picture of a glass to a child and he says this is a glass or he just says glass. So, you will reinforce it, you will acknowledge it, you will praise it. So, this will be reinforced. This behavior will be reinforced. Intraverbal. As the word indicate, intra means between. So, verbal behavior between two people. Nation is a verbal behavior that is a response to the verbal behavior of another person. It does not directly refer to any object or event in the environment but is related to the context of conversation. Autocritic, a verbal behavior that modifies or qualifies other verbal behavior. It is kind of a self-modifying statement that provides context to a message. Example, a child saying, I think, 
before a statement like I want a cookie. So basically, he is modifying, he is qualifying. This also include uh, words like I believe or most of the people think. So basically, uh, you are modifying or qualifying the terms. You are qualifying and providing context to the message. Listener behavior, a behavior where an individual is reinforcing verbal behavior in others by responding to their verbalization. It includes understanding and reacting to verbal communication. Example, a listener saying yes when asked a question. So this shows that the person is listening. The person is showing basically a listener behavior. Uh, if someone calls my name, if someone asks me a question and says yes, okay, what? Or this is showing my listener behavior. This is showing my response to the verbalization. Coming towards the MCQs. Which of the following is an example of a meant? A child asks for a cookie because they are hungry. What type of verbal behavior is demonstrated when a child repeats the word apple after an adult says it? Echoic. What is the main difference between a tact and a mand in verbal behavior? A tact is a response to a verbal stimulus, while a mand is a request. Which of the following is an example of intraverbal? A child says dog after hearing the question, what sound does a dog make? What is the function of an autocritic in verbal behavior? To modify or qualify other verbal behaviors. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.